Hi everyone, the last time I made a video reviewing the course from Boss Coder, I received a lot of messages from you guys asking me to review the data science course of Boss Coder. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. And as you guys know, data is the future, data is everything and the world is built on data. So if you're interested in data, while majority of the people are going towards full stack and MERN stack, if you're interested in data, then this is a field that is going to be very opportunistic and there's going to be a lot of money in the field of data in data science. So if you want to become a data scientist, then is this course good for you? We're going to see that. We're going to see a complete review of Boss Coder's data science course. And I'm going to answer all of your questions, whether it's live, whether it's recorded, how are the placements, how is the content, and everything in between. So I have the course right here. Let's get into it. So I have the course open right here and we're going to see everything about the course, everything that is in it. So this is the front page of the course. And like I said, the course is for data science. So if you want to get a role, uh, if you want to get a job in the data science role, then this is the course basically. And uh, as you can see, the next batch starts in July. It is July going on right now. And uh, this is the front page. Basically, they have some alumni that have already gotten jobs in some companies like Amazon, etc. They have these things like personalized learning, live classes and everything. So we'll also go inside the platform and see how it is from inside after you take the course. This is like the front page of it. And then they have all these modules and like these are the mentor. So from companies like Microsoft, Samsung, etc. Okay, so this is the front page of the course. Now let's see the inside of the course and let's see whether they actually stand true with the features that they have promoted on the website. Okay, so once you take the course, this is how it's going to look from the inside. You're going to have, so this is also similar to the last course platform that we discussed. This is also similar to that. So let's check the content out. So the curriculum starts like this. First you have the enrollment, after you take the course, then you have a meet and greet where you get to know the team and know your onboarding team, just like the basic introduction. And after that, you have a few checklists where you can join the Discord and in the Discord, you can have a community. It'll, it'll be like joining a community where you can talk to each other, you can ask doubts, etc. And after that, there's some prerequisites. So if you guys want to know whether there are prerequisites to this course or not, so you can check this out. So what the prerequisite is, is just having a basic knowledge of Python and that too you're getting within the course. So if you don't know what Python is, they're going to be teaching you that right from the basic. So if you have no idea what is Python, how does it work? Because obviously Python is a prerequisite because Python is the programming language used for data science and ML. So they teach you everything right from the basic assignment operator flowchart. So the video will be something like this. Let me open one. So, so the video is explained is by the mentor where he explains everything in a notepad by, you know, diagramming everything, writing code and everything. So these are the pre-recorded lectures which comes as a part of prerequisite. So this is not even the like main course. This is just like a prerequisite. And afterwards, your batch will start and you'll get your live classes, you'll get your assignments, you'll get your contests, things like that. Okay. Now, this is the main course. This is where the course actually is. So let's look into the curriculum and see how it is. So this is how you get. You have six different modules which are there for data science. Okay. The modules start like this. You have data fundamentals where they teach you the fundamentals of data. You know, what are the basics of data? How does data scraping work? How does data manipulation works? The basics. Then again, you come to Python where they have some advanced Python thing. They have some advanced Python library, things like that. They teach you everything. Then there's a separate module for maths in data science. So a lot of people come to me and ask key, how much math is there for data science? How much math is there for ML? So there is some good amount of maths which you need to learn for going into statistics, for going into data science, for going into ML. And they have everything covered right here in these modules. Afterwards, they have ML and DL specialization. Then they have advanced DSA. So this is the feature that I like. Okay. Even in the data science and ML course, they still have DSA. This is something that I really like. Afterwards, they have projects where they make you make some industry grade projects, which you can, you know, put in your portfolio, which will help you further when you go for placements. And then they have some master classes. Now, every class comes with assignments. So you have to attend the class. You have to do the assignment. Then you move on to the next class, next assignment. And like that, you complete your learning in the form of six different modules under data science. So if you talk about the content, the content is pretty decent. The instructors are pretty good. The way of teaching is pretty good. And the content is also very vast. So it's not like they have skipped on a few things. They've covered pretty much everything. There's a separate module for maths and DSA also, like I said. 
that is something which is pretty good okay now the next thing is mentor okay so again you have a mentor selection process i also showed this in my previous video what happens in this basically is you have an option of selecting your own mentor one to one okay so if i click on continue process you can select whichever mentor you want so you'll get an option that this guy is from amazon in seven years this guy is in microsoft since nine years who do you want as your one-to-one -one mentor you can click on select mentor you can even see their linkedin profile and just select the one you want so this is a great feature of boss coder that i found was unique because not a lot of like you know courses or websites allow you to choose your own mentor so this is a good thing you know that boss coder has that i haven't seen uh, a lot of places else then you have progress meeting where after you decide your mentor you have progress meeting with them you tell them their progress if you have any issues you discuss with them and it's basically about how good you're progressing with the course if you're having any issues or not things like that then you have schedule which shows what assignments you have what course what classes you have what sessions you have going on basically everything inside you know in your calendar now the next thing here which is also pretty good is the contest so you know that when you're learning something it becomes better to learn it becomes easier to learn once you have a little bit of friendly competition and that's exactly what they're trying to do with the contest so in the contest you have problems you have a rank you have a leaderboard so that you have a little bit of friendly competition which will motivate you to learn more and do better every time kind of like you know coding contest where you have that thrill of you know beating your friends getting a high ranking so it's a good way of you know learning i would say having a little bit of competition now after you're done with the course after you feel like you have learned a good amount of data science you are now good with it then comes the main part placement so everyone wants to know you know how is the placement what is in there for placements so i also showed this in my previous video as well the placement process comes like this you have your batch eligibility you have your profile screening then you have a placement cohort and then you have recruitment focus preparation okay so this is apart from the course they teach you recruitment focus preparation which is how will the interviews be whether you prepared for the interview whether your resume is ready you know if you need mock interviews and soft skills things like that then you have a profile building where they help you to optimize your portfolio your resume your linkedin and then you get final placements the final placements comes like two parts they have tie-ups with the top companies they have referrals they have alumni placed in good companies that can refer you things like that and then you can even look at some of the partnered companies that partner directly with boss coder so you have like good companies like epam salesforce atlassian fedex these kind of companies okay so the placement is also pretty good okay and uh, one more good thing is there that if you're a alumni of boss code you can even become a mentor at boss code okay so the placement is also pretty good if you do well in the course 110 percent you will get a good placement okay so if you are performing well if you're learning things the right way you will not fall behind in the placements part and then the next question that comes from people is that whether there's doubt support what if you get stuck in something what if you're not able to understand a lecture what if you're not able to understand an assignment well for that you have doubt support any kind of doubt you have any time whether it's at 3 a.m at night whenever it is you can just raise a query okay you can select the query type whether it's related to a dsa whether it's related to dsml whether it's related to project whatever it is then you can select the chapter okay which chapter suppose you didn't understand something in recursion you can go in recursion then you can put a question key is there any some question that you didn't understand or is there something else okay and then you can click on human support the people will reach out to you and they will clear your doubt for you so this is what the platform looks like and the features are pretty great the features are pretty well if you want to learn data science if you want to go ahead in your career as a data science like i said the course of the content is live with a prerequisite videos from pre-recorded videos and if you miss a live lecture then of course that will be recorded as well so that you know you don't miss out on by accident or anything like that and then the placement like i showed you is also there so this is a pretty decent course if you want to go in the domain of data science and that's pretty much how the course looks like there's a few more things but i couldn't fit everything in the video so if you still have any doubts about boss coder if you have any doubt then feel free to ask me in the comments and if you want to check the course out for yourself there's a link in the description you can click on that and register if you want so that's pretty much it hope you like the video any doubt leave it in the comments see you in the next one thank you